Hi guys, my name is Jean Sebastien Charles, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to create new instance and create portals for the Atavis MMO Creator. Uh, so let's get started. What you'll want to do first is open uh, your main world. And then what you want to do is copy the main camera here. So just copy. Then you'll want to create a new scene. Delete the main camera and just paste the other main camera that has all the UI and already all the scripts that you need for the scene. Next what you'll want to do is add a new game object and we'll put the terrain down. And let's put that at minus thousand. And we'll just add like a grass layer to it. Okay, also directional lights. Oh, Terrence looks a bit better. And we'll center that at zero, zero, zero. And put it click. Okay. Now, what you'll want to do is uh, add a portal. What I'm using for my portal right now, I'm going to show you. I did a prefab here with a portal I just created. I'll just drag this in the world and I'll put it at 0, 0, and 0. Uh, if you want to know how I did the portal, you can always check uh, an asset from 2D Forge called Fast Travel Portal. The link will be in the description video. Okay, next, what we want to do is we want to create a collider box. So that's pretty easy game object, 2D object, and we'll add a cube. 0, 0, and 0, and we'll just want to drag this cube a bit up. Uh, take off the mesh render on that cube. Say it a, is a trigger here, and we'll add a component to it. It's called Instance Portal. And we'll leave that blank for the moment. Next, what you want to do is open your Atavis plugin. Find the server on instance. Let's go. Okay, guys, a small cut in the video. Sorry, I already had a test world. So I'll tell, I'll name this one test world one. And we'll drag the cube back in the game object here. So that means that your character will spawn at 0, 1.5, and 0. And just make a save data here. I'm sorry, also if we want to do is we'll add more spawns to that place. So um, let's go a little bit to the left here. We'll drag another portal in. We'll use the same cube, Control D, and I'll bring it over here. And and yet have this online here we'll go into the test world one we just created and we'll bring the second cube in here as always I always suggest to rename your objects so this could be uh, portal one and this one could be spawn So, under that collider here, under the instance, uh, we'll say that our world name is called... Now we can save our scene. As I told you, you need to save the scene exactly as the name you put in the instance. So, test world 1, hit save. And here we'll say we want to go to from test world 1 and to the marker name so once again if you look in your instance and you go to your main test world one we'll add a new marker and we'll call it portal one and 
and we'll drag, drag the portal one object here. So I'll just manually add it seems to be a small bug or something I'm done doing right. So I'll just put the real location down here. Okay. Um next what you'll want to do is in your build setting you'll need to add that new uh, scene to the build scene so I'll just add this one hit save and then you'll need to restart your server so there'll be a small cut so I'll see you back in a couple of minutes okay guys I made a small mistake so I'm re-recording a part of this tutorial um, what I was doing before I did one cube over here one triggered one at the spawn point and what was happening is like the character was spawning here then it was going to the portal one then spawning here and then going back to the spawn point so it was a, like a loop, infinite loop uh, so what I did, I deleted the trigger on the spawn point uh, what we'll do, we'll just do one that goes back to the spawn point so if you check under the instance portal uh, once again world name is this world one and we want to go back to the market name spawn so once again uh, if you look in the, under the Anivis online editor under instance and we check it out the test well uh, we have a marker called spawn and that's where we're gonna spawn back when we trigger that collider here so what I'll do is I'll show you how it that it works um, so I'll go into my scenes and I'll start okay so I'm gonna enter my world and I'll take a character that hasn't been tested before so this one is still in the demo scene, demo island what I want to show you is if you want to get into your new instance what you want to do is press enter then do a slash change instance with a capital I and test world 1 and you can see as we appeared in that world so that's the portal over here that's the spawn one so if I run towards the other portal and I enter the portal you can see I've been brought back to the spawn point and once again the other portal is over there so once again my name is Jean-Sébastien Charles if you have any questions comments please leave them below and I'll be doing more tutorials hope to see you soon bye bye